Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you a real quick video of how to use the word parser, which comes with datajuggler.core.ultimatehelper, which is for the .NET framework, which came out in 2012, which will explain the name confusion of why the datajuggler.ultimatehelper.core came out this year for 2019 for .NET Core. So sorry for the naming confusion, but go ahead and just what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how I parse string data with Word Parser. It's pretty neat. It's a little, I think it's a lot uh, better than the C Sharp standard method, so maybe you'll like it. What I'm doing is datatier.net, which is my main project. Whenever I started up, I had this little XML file that I check for, and I get the latest commit from my GitHub. URL of the repo and I've been doing it manually you know I just go over here to the repo and I take this and just say copy link address and I was going over to notepad and I'd paste it and I'd copy in the first seven characters or and, and you know that worked but I was trying to automate this process so I have this little project I started last week for the it's called uh, I just called it a get schema hash but I used it as a way if you want to get your database schema and convert it to a text file. I already have that working. I'll just show you. It's gonna. This is actually going to get upgraded, but that's not for this video. But now this get commit hash is where I'm going to be doing now. I want to get that URL and just copy it to my clipboard. I'm still going to, I may eventually even automate getting that XML file updated, but that's outside the scope of this video. But first, let's go ahead and go over to Visual Studio. Let me close down datatier.net. I don't need it open. Here's my little, uh, I already have everything here, my little button click that just basically, you know, I'm using a system.net.web client and I just read the text of the my repo URL, which is, I hard coded a constant here just to show you what it's doing. And here I already went through the, the little text file and this is what I'm looking for. I want to find this text because the text after this is going to give me the git commit hash and I want the first seven characters and I'm going to copy that to our clipboard. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add the NuGet package uh, to your solution for datajuggler.core.ultimatehelper. I already have it installed but if you don't you can just go over here and just type in datajuggler. I got too many projects in NuGet but datajuggler.core.ultimatehelper. And of course, since it's already installed, you know, I don't need to do it, but that's how you, you know, just install it to whatever projects you want. This is for the, again, this is the .NET Framework version. So since I already have it installed, to use it, you just first add your using statement for datajuggler.core.ultimatehelper. And then if you want to use word parser, you also need to add the dot objects. So this is the dot objects is where you get the text line and word, which is the return values from the word parser. So we're going to go ahead and open that up now. I'm going to just click on create an instance of it's actually a static method, but I'm going to create a list text line and just call this text lines. Visual, I love Visual Studio creating the variable names for you know for you. All right, text lines equals word parser that get text lines and you just pass in your source text which is just gonna be my web page text and I'll just say parse the text lines for a comment and here I just want to check did I get any results in one of the classes that come with daddy juggler dot core dot ultimate helper is list helper dot has one or more items text lines and that just does a if it equals null now here's something else you might like Regionizer has an auto commenting system, and here I just hit Control Shift, and that comment is typed in. So that uses regular expressions, and if anybody wants to see a video on that, I'll make it. So anyway, so now we have our text lines. We know we have at least one. So now we're going to iterate our text lines. Text line, text line, and text line. So. And again, I'm going to hit Control Shift for an auto comment, and that completes the comment. I used to work somewhere where you couldn't turn in code without a comment, so I wrote this to make my life a lot easier. Some people don't like it, but I had a boss that he wasn't a programmer, but he wanted to be able to explain what the code was doing from the comments, basically, was his, and I kind of like it too. It's good for tutorials and for explaining things. All right, so now I want the words. First thing I want to say, if 
text line dot text dot contains and we have our href then we know is this the line we are looking for okay if yes we will say uh, I'll just give me a local variable up here string commit raw text equals yes okay so now I want the commit raw text equals uh, text line dot text get the full text and then we're gonna break out of the loop okay ah break out of the loop okay so now if we come down here now really I would I might even put that like in a method to kind of clean this up but we're trying to go fast so here make sure I'm at the bottom of this if text helper dot exist which is just the same as saying string not equal to null or empty string not null or empty but this is a it has, it has parameters for multiple strings is why I use this plus I can type it faster because there's not a space and not equal to null anyway oh, that's for the other thing anyway so now oh here's another comment sorry I like that auto commenter just kind of fills that in so now I want to get the words of this commit raw text. So we're just going to say, uh, actually, I don't even need that. So that was, you could, if I wanted to get the words, I would just say list word. I'll just show you just because the whole purpose of this video. Commit raw text, oops, excuse me, word parser dot get words and just say commit raw text. Convert to words. Now you may have to. Uh, parse in, pass in different delimiters depending on how this text is. But let's just get to here and see if we get our word. See if we even get our line. So, sorry if I'm kind of jumping around, but this was an unplanned video. Just want to see. Okay, so we, well, at least we know all our code up above worked. That was a good sign. Okay, so our commit rod text. Okay, so that was, that string there is going to be different every time, but the part we want is let me get this whole screen here so you can see it a little better okay so what we want is everything after this so what we are going to do is uh, let me see what words come out i want to look at something we're just going to see how how well our word parser does it we may or not may not use it and i'll just put a break point here for a second ah. Okay, so let's look at our words. We got 34 words, so that's probably not what we want unless one of these words has our commit. Hey, it is the word after commit. See, actually, we are going to use the words. I, I knew that was going to happen. Actually, I didn't, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so what it turns out is we're parsing on the words, and one of the ways it's parsing the, the raw delimiters, and I tried to find a way to make it easily show up in the the comments for that method call but one of the delimiters is the uh, forward slash apparently and the so that's but this is actually good for us so all we want now this number is going to change so what we want is the word after the word commit so that's going to make this pretty easy so again we're just going to say if list helper we'll get rid of our breakpoint there so you can see it better has one or more items and we'll just say words to make sure we got some words again hit control shift for my comment and I'm going to say for each word word in words and again control shift okay so now we're just going to say if uh, we want to we want a local variable for next word so we're just going to say local probably not where I would put it but kind of get quickly bull next word equals false and here we want to say if next word else because we're still in the else we'll come back ah hate visual studio doing that i love visual studio okay stuff that just randomly types in that i didn't type here i'm going to type in control shift again so it just it knows that's a boolean and then so next i'm going to type in uh else so we must check for the word commit 
if uh, we'll just say word dot text or just say text helper excuse me is equal word dot text commit excuse me we want specific and word dot text okay so if and we'll just say next word equals true and let's see if the auto commenting worked it did actually so it didn't have a property but it just that's not perfect but set the value for next word to true still typed part of that okay so now we know that the next word here we only want to come here once and we'll just say break out of the loop because we know we're going to do that and here we just want to say commit uh, we need a variable for it we'll just say string commit text equals word dot text okay here next word and we want to check for does word dot has text and word dot text dot length is greater than seven okay so if that's true then we know we set our gimmick set the commit text and now we're going to display it this dot commit hash text box dot text equals commit text set the text okay let's see if this works okay word dot text Oh wait, that wasn't supposed to be there. Okay, I think we're good now. Let me make sure we compile. Well, I was already running. We're going to start it again. So let's just see. So I know I should step through it, but since Word is pretty, we'll even delete all breakpoints. I just like to see code work, and then if it doesn't work, go debug it. Unless I'm building rockets, but nobody pays me to build rockets. All right, so now get commit hash. Okay, now you notice that did not work. So let's go back and check our work. So, like I said, I usually get to debugging real quickly after I say I don't have to bug something. <laughs> Insert foot in mouth. So I buy good taste in shoes. Okay, word.text. Oh, that said commit raw text. It's supposed to be commit text. And we want the first seven characters. Not step, so we just want to say zero and seven. Actually, what are the other right start into? Yeah, we want zero and seven. Okay, so now let's see, should work. Okay, A84 F08D, and we have it. There you go. So that was my very bad demonstration of how to use Word Parser, but it really does work pretty well, even in a bad situation like that. No, I need to test that to make sure I didn't like, if I had actually typed in the word commit in um, like, you know, in my latest uh, thing, you know, check in for a team explorer when I did a git commit, somehow that could probably cause those problems. But for now, this is just something I use for me. So it's not like it needs to be perfect. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see any other videos, let me know. I've probably got a tool that does something other people don't know about but I'm not very good at marketing all right thanks for watching